Uh, and you can see that red area, you know, it's that's the eye wall. Local, and it local really, 10, the voice of Max Mayfield. They're not yep. focusing on one individual key because, uh, you know, don't even worry about the landfall point. Everybody that goes through that donut around the eye there is going to get uh, uh, tremendous damage. The uh, extreme wind warning actually goes everywhere from the Seven Mile Bridge all the way down through Key West. That's uh, the, hur the weather service issues that from the local office there when the winds get over, I believe it's 110 miles per hour, extreme winds in the eye wall itself, and that's why they did that. So <laughs> don't just focus on one individual key. Uh, we can also take the big picture here. Those uh, bands you can see go up, uh, you know, well up into the central part of the state now. So uh, I just want for the folks uh, farther up in the upper keys and uh, Miami-Dade and Broward, just know that uh, the closest point of approach of uh, Irma to us uh, hasn't happened yet. You mentioned Hurricane Donna, you know, 57 years ago, back in 1960. What's eerily, you know, just, just hard to even calculate here is that also a Category 4, also hit the keys on September 10th, also, wind speeds in the 130s. I mean, just so many similarities that uh, for those of our, I always say our older conks, you know, that, that maybe lived through that one. This one has to be just so scary because it's so similar. And I know in that one of our 42 bridges that are down there across that 100 mile stretch of the Keys, five of those bridges were gone in Donna. That's a big concern here with yeah. Irma when those bridges go out. You know, how long before we can get supplies and things back and forth in that area is... We get tremendous damage uh, from the eye wall, and the uh, the next airplane is uh, on its way in there. It's not there yet, but uh, we'll be here before too long. Just trust me, everything in that donut around the eye, uh, that's where the most uh, catastrophic damage will occur. And that, uh, just to... I know folks that can't see us, but maybe are listening to us on radio. That really goes from No Name Key, includes Big Pine Key, Big Torch Key, Summerland Key, Cudzo Key, uh, Upper Sugar Loaf, uh, Big Coppet. Uh, it includes the uh, Naval Air Station there and Key West. And uh, it looks to me like at least a portion of that uh, eye wall is over uh, Stock Island and Key West. So. Uh, that area is going to be hit uh, extremely hard. And uh, the winds are still 130 miles per hour, so it's still a Category 4 hurricane. They haven't had that plane uh, in there uh, quite yet, so uh, they're not about to change the winds uh, until the plane gets there and they get some more uh, reports here. But everything else stays in time, and uh, that south side of the eye wall is, uh, you don't, it doesn't look as strong here, but uh, believe me, those winds are going to be strong on the south side as well. The hurricane force winds still extend out 70 miles. Eight fifteen Eastern time, Jim Williams, Bill Phillips, and uh, heading toward Fort Myers. Like it's chopped off on the east side. Maybe some shear now? Yeah, maybe, but... Still got its inner core intact. It just looks eroded on the uh, east side, though. Um, land, um, dryer, land, um, land interference. So, it's so typical of south and north hurricanes, though. What do you mean? Start getting that bat look. It's got the bat look. Look at that big dry slot on the south. South of the eye wall. Big gap there. And these are some of the images of destruction coming out of St. Martin, that beautiful island that so many people have visited. They look forward to visiting for vacation. And look at that. I mean, entire structures down, major trees down on cars. And then you see roofs torn off. Yeah, and, and luckily the island avoided any major damage from Hurricane Jose, but you can still see plenty of devastation left over from Hurricane Irma and just uh, a lot of uh, structures. There's not strong enough to withstand the winds of Hurricane Irma, uh, packing winds of over 120 and at one point 180 miles an hour. 
So some paper you see there left, uh, but some of the pictures that are coming in from the destruction from the U.S. Virgin Islands. We got reports yesterday that it was about St. Martin, correct? About 70 percent of the island? That's right, yeah. 70 uh, percent of the island, the Dutch government reporting that uh, uh, was possibly destroyed from Hurricane Irma. This is uh, from St. John. Look at those boats. Just, uh, they were tossed around like toys. It's just amazing to see and just the bark just uh, just torn from those trees. And uh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We saw the picture yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Look at all those boats. Look at that shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Downtown Fort Myers, right overlooking a marina. Irma has officially made landfall in the Florida Keys for its National Hurricane Center. Looking at a live camera from Fort Lauderdale. This is so hard because of the size and the angle of approach is the problem. You just don't know where it's coming in at. I mean, even looking at this radar, I mean, it's basically going to parallel the southwest coast. Oh, yeah. If you did not get out, I feel sorry for you because it's too late. Looking at a, um, our, the HC City um, remote camera in downtown Fort Myers, overlooking a uh, marina. Um, a lot of people did not remove their boats. Sorry. A Monday or Tuesday morning. 2953, so that's 2953 would be a thousand, probably in the 980s. 2938, 995. 995 millibars, okay. No east component at all, just like due north almost. It's due north. No, if anything, there would be a westerly component. I don't think there's going to be a due easterly component at all. Nine twenty nine millibars, wind one thirty, north northwest at eight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna stick right here on Facebook. Let's um do a um you know what, let's do the remote cam. It's what we're here for. Right now, this I got Google Earth up here. We are looking at the image right here on the Edison Bridge. And I just believe I was on the south side of the Edison Bridge, if I'm correct, Jim. Right here, where the um, where that big high rise. Where are here? Is that Jim? We're here. Okay. Yeah. And I started filming, just putting my hand out a little bit, and and it was crazy. And, and I was yeah. filming the the crane. And as time went on, I have a documentary in my Instagram. You can draw live from oh. there. I there's a few videos with the time he was picking up. The wind was picking up and the crane was moving a little bit more and more and oh, but then wow. I was like, Yo, you know what? Um, you might think we lost one of the cranes. We lost one of the cranes in downtown Miami, Miami it looks like. So yeah, I down, the building. As soon as I lay down to, to try to take a nap, I hear a big bang and, and everything and then I come look and, and I find the, the crane have broken. So Pedro, so even, with, even with the sound of all the winds all night long, you could hear the crane break? Listen, I cannot lie, to be honest with you. When oh. I open the slide, This flooding, we drove through it a couple times. The first time, it was bad, but now, as time continues passing, this flooding gets deeper and deeper to the point that it's even uh, flooding the parking lot of, of the um, Performing Arts Center here. You can see uh, just how much, it's almost like you're driving through the sea. I can't believe how many people left their boats there. Oh, it's amazing. I'm I'm stunned. Good job, Tony. Good. Beautiful. You can see the winds are picking up. You see that, Jenny? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the mouse out of the way, bud. 
Men's are most definitely picking up. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, we might have been having technical issues. They had Kenny Chesney on earlier, the country singer. Yeah. He had a home in um, uh, one of the U.S. Virgin Islands. He had 20 people sheltering there. It, they survived by getting into a closet. The place is destroyed. Wow. Impact resistant glass, million dollar home. He did it. Windows rated to 200 miles an hour, he said. Didn't matter. The glass blew out. Really? Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you're, talking, you're listening to Jim Williams, Donnie Midget, and uh, Bill Phillips. You look on your screen. This is a shot from Sarasota, Florida, on the beach, courtesy of Earth Cam. Jim Williams is driving home back to the East Coast after the deplo- a successful deployment of his remote cam. It's located in um, Fort Myers. Bad. bad is bad. Yep, look at that. Live Earth cam shot from Fort uh, Lauderdale. I wonder. How, I wonder how that pier that pier is going to hold up much longer. I mean, look at that surf. Look, I mean, look look how high it's 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 peaking. I think it'll hold, but there may be some slight damage. Oh, you're going to have some, some damage to the structure of that pier. At the structural integrity of that pier is going to be gradually weakened because of this. Um. Mike Seidel's in Miami. Fifty to seventy-five in Miami. Seidel can barely stand up. Oh yeah, he's getting he's getting knocked down. He's getting his ass kicked. Very shortly, as the northern part of the eye wall is nearly 40 miles offshore, less than that at this point, with that center of circulation making its approach. Here's a look at the satellite imagery right now, showing you that center of circulation moving up towards the southwestern part of Florida. It is, again, that eye is just about 40 miles offshore here, moving off to the north. So it will be bringing some very strong winds into the Everglades City and Naples area within a number of hours here, even potentially in the next hour. There's right there all that lightning activity. That's the northern part of the eye wall. Extreme wind warning being issued now for Collier County. This is only issued when wings are at least winds are at least category three or above. So 115 mile per hour winds here anticipated in the next hour but with some very heavy winds. We've seen wind gusts of 120 miles per hour today out of the National Key Deer Wildlife Refuge area. This is near the Keys in Miami. We've had uh, re- reports of 100 mile per hour wind gusts. So we are absolutely Absolutely seeing those hurricane force winds here all across South Florida. And things, again, are going to be picking up on the southwestern side very shortly as that center approaches. Jim Cantori is in Fort Myers. Mike Seidel is in Na- uh, Mike Seidel in Miami. Uh, Mike Bettis in Naples. Those are the big shots. Fort Myers, Chip Cantori? Yeah. He actually might have it right this time. And they got plywood out and two by fours and steel beams. Look, look at this. Hang on a minute. I'm going to shoot this. This is, I'll just stay right there. Watch this straight. Watch this frame. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Be quiet. There's debris in the air. I got tons of debris in the air now. The, the light poles are about to break. I can see the poles are about to break now. This is dangerous. Yeah. Don't I don't know what that is. Office building right in front of me. That if it's attached or not, or a metal building. Or there's a shed right in front of me. This one's uh, looks like cream. You see the building right in front of me. That little office building right there in your view, center of the viewfinder. I don't know if it's going to stay or if it's anchored or not anchored. That thing will probably go airborne. 
The wind's coming across this uh, parking lot shopping center, and it's accelerating through this construction. We're just wow. going to roll this. Let it go. Holy crap. Just let it go. Where are you? It's like whiteout conditions. Look at the road, man. You can't even see the road. This has got to be hurricane force winds here. Yeah, these are hurricane force for sure. I mean, the wind on the ground. Here, let me show you on the side of the truck. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're definitely in something of hurricane force, right? I mean, just look. Yeah. yeah it's I say she's a Bruin. Are you in a safe spot where you're not going to get trapped at this point? I'm wide out in the open. Nothing can hit me. I'm talking uh, about flooding. Yeah. Thing. Jim, pay attention for torn a tornado out of this van. This is how you get those. I could see where tornadoes could form in these. Yeah. Oh, very easily. Yep. Jim, right now, about how far are you from Delray? Oh, I'm still 45 minutes away, probably. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I'm like midway between the lake and the East Coast right now. That looks like a funnel cloud right in front of me. There. I agree. Yeah, it does. It yeah, really, really does. It really does. You really care. It, you can, it's right in front of the camera. Just roll it. Yep. We might get something. We here. might get something here. Looks like two funnel clouds. I see oh, one. Yeah, Where's the other one? No, I see the other now. Yeah, they're, they're, they're right, they're right, next, they're right yeah. next to each other. Right next to each other. My goodness. Yeah, it's a funnel cloud. Look, it's growing. Yes, we yes, can see it. Is. The one on the left is getting longer. Be very careful here. Be very careful. Only going about 10 miles an hour. When this hits me, there's going to be some hellacious winds. No doubt. It's about a quarter of a mile in front of me. I'm assuming it's going to be similar to what we just had. If not, maybe a little worse. It looks like it's breaking up. Squall lines change so quickly. Yep. Wow. All right, we're good. <sighs> Man, that could have been. I could have seen something right there. But the sky conditions completely change. It's it, it's very dark now. Very dark. Wonder how long before that tarp flies away. Does it fly away or does it get shredded? Or both? Yeah. That wind would be a lot stronger in that shot if that tall building wasn't in the way. But you know what? That may protect that camera. I'm kind of happy. It's going to be another open area. Let's see what we have here. Just keep checking the water. My ears are popping. Oh, my ears are hurting really bad now. Oh, my goodness. My, er my ears are killing me now. They're hurting bad. My ears are just killing me now. Oh, my gosh. Pressure must be... Let me check my deal. Pressure must be falling super fast now. Because my ears just went into ache mode, like, big time. Mine... This is correct. Shows them at six feet right here above water. And at nine, six, seven, six, eight, and falling right rip the water line out of the ground. Watch this. Oh, sprinkler, probably the sprinkler system right there. This is Walmart. Yeah, it's water. It's a sprinkler system. You can see the sprinkler head on it right there. Yep. It's all going to be very destructive winds. 130, 140 coming ashore. This is rotating up this way. And then about 100, 105 back south. 
So these really mega winds are just about to come into Marco Island. Storm surge is, is coming in right now and it'll over the next two hours, but the, the other extremely destructive winds, 120, 130 in this eye right here. It just depends if this eye continues to slowly come north toward Marco Island. It's slowly coming north. It's probably gonna make landfall very close to Marco Island. Confirm, confirmed tornado in Fort Lauderdale now. I just got a tweet. Huh. Look at this guy's fence went down too. Look at it. Right here in front of me. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is right where Jim lives. Maybe what, a couple of streets over? How far are you from home? Yeah. Oh, a couple blocks. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty close. See how the tower cam is holding up. Oh, I'm not worried about that thing now. It's, n it's not going to be a direct hit. It ain't going nowhere. There it is. Don, have you seen that tower cam? Show him. He's not yep. seen it. Yeah, let me see if they look at it. I actually see it from up. Oh, I see it. I see it right there uh, directly, like like right like right off, like right in front of you. I see it. Yep. <clears throat> oh, look at, oh. look at that tree over there. Look at that. Well, Jim, with all the damages from both these hurricanes and possibly more to come this season, if there's a time to, to, to invest stock in Home Depot and Lowe's and lumber and construction materials, now's the time to do it. <laughs> Look at all the coconuts in a row and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's whole fence, man. God. You have any dam you have any damage running either your roof or any <clears throat> anything structural? Yeah, I'm gonna go look. Careful, careful! You got numerous tornado warnings all over the place, bud. Be very careful right now. Moving around there. All of this has been wow. recorded. Whoa! Oh, God, that, that's, that very well coming down, Jim. I'd be really cautious trying to pass that thing yeah. right now. I wouldn't go anywhere near that sucker. Make sure we're live on Facebook. Or not Facebook, like but... Yeah. but I'll um, buy it real quick. Nature's weed whacker. Yes, a lot worse there than it looks. I mean that. Oh, I wish we just had more daylight. Although I gotta admit, what I just saw outside here in my house, backyard is completely mangled. Um, we've had some ferocious winds here, man. I mean, they're they're blowing out there really good right now. What would you say? 50, 60, 70? Probably, probably 60 to 70. Okay. Easily. Some of those gusts are coming through there, and you hear tree limbs cracking and breaking, and fences get knocked down. It's 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 so loud out there right now. All your shutters are closed. Yep. Okay. We've got obviously this very intense eye wall moving into Naples right now. We have Jeff Jeff Petrowski down there uh, filming on Periscope, and that band is moving in on them right now. Ferocious winds. The back side of this eye wall has been kind of void of convection. Notice the bat look. There's dry air working its way into the system. That started um, this morning. Yep, started down near Key West. And these bands out in here, this is why there's a hurricane warning up for the East Coast, because uh, these bands here, uh, this neighborhood is ravaged right now. The tree fence, all the fences are down, trees snapped. Um, there, it's just hardly... Uh, Hardly um, area of street that doesn't have a bunch of tree limbs in it. Now, um, are, we, are we running off power or your generator? What do we? I do? still have power. Believe it or not, that's I'm I'm shocked that we have power here. With the okay. way the winds are blowing outside, it looks more intense to me than it was for Gene and Francis. Wow! And you're still sitting with power. Pine slash pines right here are resilient. I mean, they don't even look tropical, like they don't belong here, but they, they've survived every hurricane we've had. Gene, Francis, Wilma, uh, this one, um, uh, Katrina, 
And uh, this tree here, it's, you get a few little twigs bouncing off it, but it survives. Like, it never has any problems. It's like it's got a fish on it or a, a big old fish being yanked on it. Waiting for it to snap. The roar of the wind out here, you can hear it. It comes to like every, every couple of minutes, you're going to... Or it shakes your whole house. That's usually winds around sixty-five miles an hour that do that. I'd like to know. Oh. I'd love. I'd love to know why your instruments failed. I, I I have no idea. My anemometer cups are not communicating with the console. Isn't it all one like one unit? As far as communications, it could be the. See, the problem is if it was the communication problem, the other None stuff wouldn't work. be working. That's right. None of it would work. I wonder how many other people didn't take their turbine off to the roofs and how many of them are going to be, have to go the next street over to find them, see if my neighbor did. Okay. Uh, see if there's any other turbines. I'll check, the, check both feeds for me. Let me check in a, in a bit. All right, Jim, this is not staying. One more press. Damn it, I wish that anemometer was working. I'm hearing this pounding on the house, man. The wind is really gusting out there. I wouldn't be surprised if it's near 80. If it's that loud. All the observations I'm finding are uh, sustained at like 60, gusting to 75. On the southeast coast right now. Hurricane warning is warranted. Miami yeah, east at 50, we're gusting to 71. Well, a buoy right off Miami is reporting 68 knots gusting to 80. Here's my position. Come out here on this map. That's where I'm at. It's north of Marco. Still gusting to 64 off Almorada. Good God. Wow. Yeah, well, this is as of 3.30 p.m., so it's pretty fresh. Uh, we have winds there where the camera is at 22, gusting to 45. The car's rocking. All, it's but I'm rocking back and forth. Poles in front of me are about to... About to break. They haven't broke yet. Super bad now. Super bad. The damage occurring down Highway 41, going toward Naples, heading up toward Naples now. This is so pixelated. You can't really make out what's happening Guys, there. It's, it's, I know, it's, not, it's almost like a blizzard. It, I can see the flying oh. debris and the lower levels, but just to my south, about a quarter mile, there's like almost. I can see breaks to the lower wall of, of wind. Go 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 go. go, go. 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 Load your load your tower cam. All right, we're live. Okay. Okay. Oh, it did get bad. My God. Okay. Oh, it got real bad. Live Delray Beach, Florida. We were looking at Jeff Petrowski's feed, but this is home base for Hurricane City. Jim Williams is right here. Tell us what the camera's trying to look at and what we've got. All right. We got uh these are winds probably gusting to hurricane force and some of these squall. We have a tornado warning up right now. Uh, there's just a tremendous amount of wind. I just went out there and I, I couldn't even get to my truck. It was starting to blow me over. So I just decided to wait. I'm going to wait for the squall line to get through. There's my truck right there. Um, but it is real. It's really whoa, cool. Whoa. I think you just lost the tree. Or did it just bend? I thought it was going to... No, it was a branch that came off it. Palm trees are getting whipped around. Wow, look at that wind coming across that intersection. Wow. wow. I don't think I've ever seen that on this tower camera. Wow. Wow. All right, while my headset's both about feet. to go out. Check both feeds. Oh, yeah, we already got Facebook. I checked it. We're good. Remember, you said it's 
your visibility is drastically reduced, at least through the lens of the camera it is. Yep. Wow. Tornado warning continues until 4.30. Um, very typical. Okay. Do they give any more? Lo- uh, scroll down. There should be more. Uh, impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted included Papano Beach, Boca Raton, Deer, uh, Deerfield Beach, uh, Boynton Beach, and Delray Beach. That's you, Jim. Cautionary press preparedness action. Stop it. I'll just read that. I'll read okay. the cities again. This warning includes. De- you, know, are you listening, Jim? This warning until 4:30 includes Deerfield, Boynton, Pompano, uh, Boca Raton, and Delray Beach. So he, he's still trying to get his headset on. Hey, you guys. We're here. I'm going to run out front with the, my. I'm going to go into this uh, in the room and show you this video. It's just unbelievable out here right now. Oh, I, I know. I, I, go for it. Go for it. All right. Uh, got, let me get got, the... Got you. Your feet, your feet, your feet's come, good. Come, feet. out of, come out of the Zoom Come out of the Zoom room, though. You got you to gotta quit your screen share. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right. You'll see me outside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just be careful. Please. <laughs> we're, making, we're getting our day made now. Oh, yeah. We're getting to the action now. We are getting into the action now. All right. We got to watch him. Everybody, if you're just tuning in, Jim uh, uh, is going to be suspending his, just suspended his tower cam, and he is now stepping outside towards his window so you can see actually um, from a ground view what, what he is witnessing in his neighborhood he, right now. He is absolutely getting hit very hard. I mean, this is not, you know, not what's going on in Naples, but this is still extremely bad. And this just goes to show just how powerful this storm is. You may not be anywhere near the eye, but there's still uh, uh, devastating effects from these winds. Here is Jim Williams outside. Spotlight video. Have I got it? Yes. He is going outside. Jim, can you hear me? Not All right, you guys. Here we go. I see it. I see it. We got a roof leak here. Oh, oh shit! Bad. All right. Oh. How you doing, Barbara? Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck it up, son. Wow! Woo! Big boys, man. Wow. Wow. Make sure this is you from both of them. Yeah. This is, I want you to watch this. Did he just... No, he's going back in. You Okay. Look at the dog running to him. Oh, I know. You all right, bud? Yeah, I'm soaked, man. <laughs> I was picked up now drastically. Look at that. This is off the Edson Bridge, and you look at that tarp. It's getting ready to go on the, on the left-hand side of the screen. Over in that boat? Oh, yeah. It, it's it's uh, going to be going on. I don't know how well they secured that, but obviously it wasn't too terribly good. No. Wow, and Jim, even I mean, I mean, the tower cam does give you a, give a good view, but it doesn't give but it doesn't give justice to what it's really like from what you just showed us from your uh, from wow. your iPhone cam. Yeah, oh, when well, you're standing it, it's so it's so awesome. It's like uh, you're you're in a, you're literally being sandblasted. I mean, it is yeah. just yeah. that wind is tremendous out there yeah. right now. Yeah, crazy. Uh, right near, I got a tornado warning over me. That purple box. Oh, something just went. What did it Uh-oh. say? I couldn't hear it. I, I think the tower might have just went. Oh, well, oh, let me, oh, shit. Let me put it back on that. Something just went. 
You think the towers? Uh, no, it's still. Oh, guy wires! Look, they're they're loose guide again. Uh -oh. They snapped. Uh -oh. Here we go again. Have you ever had that happen with the tower? Yes, it happened in Wilma. All right, there it is. The wire is uh, dangling there. Well, you talking about that little white piece? Yeah, see it's flapping in the wind? Yeah, we got it. Yeah. And there it goes across the roof, and it's supposed to attach down there in the yard, but some a branch must have chopped it in half or something. Look at all the foliage laying Spliced around it. back there. Yeah, spliced it. Damn. I thought that for sure that was the tower going down. Well, the, and those guide wires aren't aren't flim flam. I mean, that's that's the noise you hear nope. that snap. Power keeps flickering, but we're good. I'm amazed you still have broadband. Damage downtown. Irma's winds knocked down now two cranes in uh, Miami. I see all these red bands out in here. They're all. Uh, uh, these are the gusts that are coming through here, giving us hurricane force winds all out in here. Uh, and you've got tons more of those that are coming in. You're nowhere near done. So how many roof leaks do we have? I don't know, because you know they all can be Jim, let's take a walk through the house, and you can show us the roof leaks when I get back. Uh, is that shingle damage? I don't think so. No. It would be way up here. The flat part we can't see from the tower. I'm 100, 100 miles west of me, and I'm getting this kind of wind. Wow. 991 millibars on the tower cam. I don't even know if that's right. But 29, I mean 936 in the center of the hurricane. And pull up his on there, so you can see where we have it. Um, all right, Jim, I'm back. All right. Now, nothing, nothing's really changed there. You know, the the observations. Let me check the see if any new observations came in from there, because there's weather instruments right that right there from the weather service. Okay, this is the. Um, the instrument, and it's in that marina. There's the location of it, right there in the uh, yellow triangle, uh, which is right where our bridge is, right, right where I mounted it. And they're showing the winds there right now, 32 gusting to 39 out of the northeast. So that's going to pick up significantly here in the next few hours. Continue on the way. Up northwest, I gotta make sure I stay in this eye wall. The winds are super nuts. I got damage on both sides. Make most of the tree damage is leaning to the south. Most of the trees and, and stuff is gonna be uh, uh, everything's leaning south. This is gonna be the uh, filled up there. Um, one another gas station, Sunco, Sunco. I filled up, got gas there. Power lines are on top of the Sunco that we do have telephone and power lines on the Sunco building. Yeah, power lines continue. All the power lines fail on the south, uh, the, technically the west side of uh, 41. There, I think how you qualified here in, in uh, southwest Florida, west side of 41. They all fell back to the south southwest. Car wash, the Naples car wash. I wasn't in that one, but there's the light poles laying across the road. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yep. The instant jiffy lube, it blew the north doors in. Uh, the jiffy lube blew the north doors in. So it's been compromised. I got a roof off uh, across the street here. That's ripped the roof off of the shopping center on the north side of uh, 41 here on the right. Hey, uh, Greg said 142 miles an hour at the uh, Naples airport was measured. That's bad. That's yeah, very bad. Um, I'm right here, but see these bands right in here? Yeah. Just about to come in, and they got some rotation with them, so I'm interested in seeing if that does anything here on the tower cam. All right, 5 p.m., 5 miles north of Naples, 30 miles south-southeast of Fort Myers. 
Uh, maximum sustained wins, 110. Down to category two. Moving north at 14. See, it's picked up its forward speed. See, I could have stayed there and got the... Up, oh, just lost the power. Uh-oh. Oops. Yep, running on battery now. All right. Um, not a surprise. Jeff Petrowski's live whenever you need a break. Yeah, go ahead and take it. I'm going to go get the generator cranked. You got it, buddy. Right. I'm surprised right. the broadband stuff. This is great. All right. Be careful, Jim. Yes, sir. We'll be at this facility tonight as well and doing damage. Jeff, the trees from here over to 41 going to Marco, all the trees were shredded. I don't know if the vortex went down the road. I never seen anything like it from the from the from the ball of the tree all the way up to 100 feet. The trees are all shredded. They're all debarked, 100 percent just raw wood all the way up. I never seen anything like it. Wow. All right, there's our live camera in Fort Myers. The northern eye wall is about to move in there, so we're going to get a first front row seat. Uh, see if these boats start breaking their moorings and scattering all over the place. Something tells me they're going to get lucky. The wind's down to 110. Yeah, see, now the camera is located right here. Camera's right up in here. So uh, the eye wall is just about there. Um, they're gonna get that. Yeah. Looks like maybe an hour, an hour of that eye wall be there. I don't want to get kicked off. Well, I'm currently running on generator here in Delray Beach. We've had our uh, neighborhood take a huge hit from these winds. Let me show you the tower mm -hmm. cam. It's still blowing pretty good out there. Uh, there's our tree. Our pine tree is now uh, missing a bunch of leaves on the left hand side. Uh, those things are like spears. When they fly through the air, they could kill you. Right. Actually, no, the hurricane would be west of here now. The hurricane would be like this direction. See that tree right there? That's a, that's a Schiffelaria tree. That was so dense, you couldn't see the street before this hurricane. Like, that, that thing got shredded. I mean... There was probably a hundred branches on that thing. Now look at it. It's like somebody just ripped it open like a like a can opener. Nice it. Yes. This is a Cat 5 great rated garage door. Okay. Okay. See the beams? Listen to the wind. There. Yeah, it does. Hang on. There's some good wind coming in there now in that shot. That tree's that palm tree's waving around pretty good. Thirty seven nautical miles to the south of Fort Myers. And we had an SFMR wind, uh surface wind inbound eighty knots, ninety two miles an hour. You just never know. I mean No. I mean, I'm not really that. Look, that eye wall isn't there yet. Look, uh, let's show the radar. You, you go to the radar, and I'll put the cam back up after that. You know, again, that. Um, camera is right here. Can you tell us straight on it? Yep. I'm putting a bright red dot. You see that? Um, we, we, that's where the camera is right there. We got you. So. Okay. Yeah, they. I think we might be looking at the bodies. We were told, as you said earlier today, about 10,000 total people stuck it out of the keys. Can you believe that? Stupid. This is the mobile home. This is one of the mobile homes in my br brother-in-law's neighborhood that was destroyed by Wilma. That's that's the kind of damage that Wilma did. Uh, that didn't come out very good. There's one picture of the camera. The camera is right here. Can we uh, zoom in on it? Let's try. It's right there on the on the fence, right there. 
Might be able to blow that up. I'd zoom in on it. This is my number three pick. Notice the dart on the map. <laughs> Bam! Bam, you, you got it on that one. Jim. Where would the guide wires be? Where's the one that snapped or near it? It would be right here. Right down there, this one. Okay. Here's Bill with Max Mayfield. We'll see him later tonight. Not sure if you're seeing this. I'm zooming it we in. We got it. We've got it. You're fine. And that's much better. There we go. There it is. And there it is. See how it's strapped? It, those are metal straps with wing bolts on the ends. And uh, there's the camera. And, and the camera's at the top of that circle lens there. And it's right underneath it, that's the LED lighting for night vision. But unfortunately, I didn't bring the battery that runs that little light. So that was my stupidity. Oops. Now, did it but, come cased in that, Jim, or is that a big piece of PVC you adapted for? That's a PVC adapted. pipe. Wow. And so it's got glass glued to the front. The batteries are inside behind the camera. And then I have a, uh, what do they call that, Don, a drain plug or a, a stop plug, like you yeah, screw yeah. it on a wing bolt that makes it airtight or watertight. Right. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's getting nice and juicy. Still, see, right now the winds are offshore because that northern eye wall is pushing that water out of that bay right now. Yeah, and then, but it's got to come back. It's got to come back, and that's not going to happen for about three hours. Dark. And by then it'll be dark. Somewhere up in there. I don't have, have the exact... Uh, But that's about where we're at. So that little yellow sliver is about to nail it right now. i got to see when this was written, but the National Hurricane Center the, says the one rose in Naples seven feet in 90 minutes. Where? Naples. Huh. Yeah, that's, 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 that's insane. Six hours ago, Mark Rackley and I survived. Got 40 minutes in the eye and Big Pine Key. Three to four foot surge, 935 millibars, but maybe lower. Crazy wind, look out, big wind coming. First half, no surge, then the eye, then wind shift, and it came up quickly, but half was stronger. We documented surge thoroughly. So there's video that's going to come out of there. All right, here's a video of him as the eye walls approach. Want me to go ahead and screen I'll, 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 go ahead and, I'll go ahead and give it to you. Give me just All right. Boats in the road, Big Pine Key. Wow. Mm-hmm. Whoa. All right. What? That's it? Run that again. Nice and short.
picture of Mark's unmanned cam down in the uh, lower keys, the height of the storm. Surge don't look bad. No. They got lucky. I don't think that would have mattered much either. So is this I got the dud? same kind of footage. Is this a dud? Although we have a live camera out of Tampa now before it gets dark. Downing fan. It's downtown Tampa. Look at this weird looking eye on this thing now. It's like a uh, slit. Wow. It's like I'm saying, I don't want to die. It's partially open, like it's still here, but it's yep. closing up like, no! You know what? This camera would be so awesome in a Category 5. Oh my god. But, <laughs> the tower, I didn't like that guy who I heard snapping earlier. It's it did its tower. job, though. That's what it's designed to do. Like, when the tension reaches a certain point, it snaps, and it's that instead of the tower snapping. So that's going to have to be replaced, but you're used to that. I'm thinking of not doing the guide wires anymore. I'm just going to leave it as a as freestanding tower. You're looking at a live image from the Delray Beach Hurricane City Tower Cam. Uh, Jim is currently running on generator. He lost his power. How long has it been? About two hours, Jim? Yeah, yeah, about two, yep. Um, still running on broadband, amazingly. Thank you, Comcast. Um, give you a plug because this stuff worked. Yeah, yeah, I, it's amazing. They're still up and running. I mean, I'm impressed. It just keeps coming and coming, man. These really ferocious gusts. Show me. Right there at the end of the block. But the rain is still so much, you can't see yeah, it. Yeah, you can't see it, but... Let it focus, but it's shaking like a son of a gun. Well, currently running on generator here in Delray Beach. We've been getting pounded by a gust up to hurricane force like for the last four to five hours. It's been relentless. Right. Oh, look, they just, oh, look at this. He just lost shingles. That was, that. I guarantee you, that was a vortex. A vortex. Look at that. Yeah, he just lost shingles on that roof there. Yeah, I mean, there was no roof damage prior to that. What the hell was that? I just heard another banging noise. Damn. Something had to have come roaring through here. That was a tornado, I guarantee you. If you were, that was loud, man. It was like... It was that roaring tornado, like that freight train kind of noise. It was like yeah. a deep, roaring whoosh. Like a, maybe a downburst? Downburst, microburst? From Greg Gibbs in, where's he at? Fort, He's Fort, Fort Myers, uh, Cape, Cape Coral, actually, uh, right Cape on the Coral. other side of the river from where our camera is. Northwest Cape Coral. Wow. When you see the wind along the ground like that, whistling, that's some strong winds, man. Yes. That's like the kind of wind that was hitting me on the truck today when I was driving out east of the lake. Where the Remember I showed you the wind whistling along the ground? Uh, by the way, there's a boil water issued for parts of Broward County. Let's see. City of Hollywood issued an advisory after 2 p.m. The city's water and treatment plant experienced significant drop in pressure below 20 psi. Indicates a very significant water main break. Over 1.5 million without power in South Florida. Running on generator here tonight. 
uh, as of 6 p.m., so this is newer information, 2.5 million now without power Sunday afternoon as Hurricane Irma lashed Florida. I think it turns to black and white when it gets nighttime with the infrared vision. And our neighbor behind us lost some shingles. Let me see if I lost any shingles now that I'm thinking about it. Had me check my own roof. Does not look like we lost any shingles. See, the eye is just to the east of where we have that camera set up in Fort Myers. So let's take a look at the camera real quick. And the western eye wall is passing over there right now. A little disappointing. We thought that for sure that those boats would break from their moorings with you know, Category 2, Category 3. But I, I really seriously doubt this thing has any more than a one wind associated with it right now. So that made a big difference in the water rise. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bill Phillips with Donnie Midget in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I have spoken with Jim Williams. Everything is fine at his location. It's just the cable, the broadband, and internet, even the cell towers are all down as far as data and connectivity. Um, so as soon as I stepped out to go grab something to eat no less than five minutes later, as I'm on the way to the restaurant to get some food, everything for him crapped out. 